Greetings all. In this short tutorial, I am going to show you how you go about creating a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. And a presentation is actually used to help presenters to present the data or the information that they would like to portray to some intended audience. So I'm going to actually open Microsoft PowerPoint by going to my search icon here and I'm using Windows 10 so I do have an affordance of actually opening PowerPoint through those means moving a little bit too fast here and I actually have a PowerPoint document already opened let me create a new document so you can see what that looks like Microsoft Office has a number of templates here that you can choose from for our purposes let us try using a blank presentation and what we start off with is a blank presentational slide the click to add title will give you an option to actually include a title so because this is actually the very first slide that the, the audience will be seeing you want to give it the title of the overall presentation so how to give a presentation for example and you would of course put your name in there or some subheading that you'd like your audience to see this will actually be your first slide you would create a new slide by going to the slides group choosing the new slide option and you have a host of other types of slides here that you can choose from the one that is most pertinent to the type of data is the one you should include most people choose the title and the content because that allows you to put a, a title in that slide as well as some specific content for example in my second slide on how to actually give a presentation is let's say be confident and that's the title of that slide and you might include bullet lists within powerpoint in order for you to be confident you must project your voice for example project your voice and we should probably do that with caps so project your voice walk around if it is a walk around type of presentation maintain eye contact Okay, know your data, you must know what you're presenting, and so forth and so on. Note that you could also include within PowerPoint, you could go to the insert function and choose from the images group to include some online uh, pictures in there. Using Bing image search, we are a little bit limited. They do not give you the option of, of using Google within the application itself. So even though you might have purchased a copy of Microsoft Office, Microsoft will actually tell you how you can use your copy of Microsoft Office. One way in which they do that is by limiting you to Microsoft application. So within here, you have to use the Bing image search. For now, um, we, we might look at how we go about changing that later on. Um, so the Bing image search, let's search for something that is relevant to what we're doing. Presentation, for example, you might search for speech, you know, something along those lines. Uh, choose a picture that you want. There are many pictures that will come up. These are all pictures on the web. Once you've chosen that picture, simply hit insert. And you could choose to move or resize that picture on your page accordingly. Okay. We could then create another slide by going back to the home tab, choosing the new slide function. The title and content probably works well. And for my next slide, I'm going to say, let's say, add visual content and note that I don't have to actually work with the, the text in here I could choose to add some video that I have on my my site 
or uh, within my my files or I could add a table I could add a chart let's say we're adding a chart for example we could choose let's say a column chart and hit OK and Microsoft PowerPoint will give you a small Excel file at the top that you would change the labels and maybe even the values to represent your data once you've done that you could close that Excel file you could change the chart title and you could resize that chart just so that you you if if you do have additional information on your page or on your slide rather if you don't then it's fine if you have the chart really large i'm going to go to my insert tab and i'm going to choose text box i'm going to insert a text box here and within my text box i'm going to include some other type of information like this chart represents represents sales for the past year right i might even i could even turn this into a, a bullet bulleted list uh sales are representative of figures monthly next year will include larger percentages so so we're actually creating information as we go along I could then choose to select my text box that I just created and I could turn that into a bulleted list not only um, am I able to do that but if you have a PowerPoint presentation that has a, a number of slides with bulleted list it might be, be more aesthetically pleasing if you should actually right click within the bulleted list here and choose convert to smart art that is actually going to allow you to convert the bulleted list to some uh, visual um, smart art within that slide so you could do that for all your slides with bulleted list or you could simply do it for a few slides and note that depending on the type of information sometimes we have a hierarchy of information for example um, and so you want to show that hierarchy using a smart art or it is more along the lines of uh, a Venn diagram where some type of data is pertinent to other categories um, or maybe even directional uh, al uh, something along those lines so you could choose the appropriate smart art to represent the type of data that you are you are displaying okay so once you've done that note that you can continue to edit the information within the smart art and so forth and so on okay so that's how you go about creating a PowerPoint adding content within the PowerPoint and we're moving pretty quickly here feel free to pause and practice um, and come back to certain slides if you make mistakes what we actually want to do with a PowerPoint presentation once we have added all the data or information is to actually add some visual uh, content in here as well um, so one way in which we could do that apart from changing the bulleted list to smart art and adding illustration uh, another way is to simply add a design right now i simply have these blank or white slides with data if i should go to the design group design tab within the themes group i'm able to choose an appropriate theme that changes the visual layout of my PowerPoint. N not only do I have access to a number of themes within this PowerPoint presentation, but I also have an ability to, once I've changed a theme, I have an ability to go to the variance group and 
choose different colors i don't have to work with the colors that are there i could choose a different color and notice that once i've done that it changes the colors on the 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 charts and my smart art as well which is excellent for these purposes i could even choose to change the effects and how it looks I could choose to change the fonts and so forth and so on. Another useful uh, tool within PowerPoint is the ways in which the slides change from, from one slide to the next as you transition throughout your presentation. In order to see the presentation, for example, I'm going to go to the slideshow tab. I'm going to choose from beginning and this is how my presentation looks so far it might be prudent to add a, a picture here as well um and i note that while you're creating the presentation you could have chosen to move this text maybe a little bit more to the top uh move this uh subtitle a little bit more to the right depending on on how it works for you and the type of data that you're presenting if i should click on the mouse or the arrow key on the keyboard note that i simply move to the next slide and if i do that once more i'm simply moving to the next slide what we could do is go to the transitions tab here and from the transition to this slide group there are a number of transitions that you could choose from for a particular slide so just choosing on a particular transition and choosing the type of transition that you want will actually apply that transition to the slide note that if you don't want your your slide to be too fancy many people have a number of different um, transitions that they apply to each slide for example which makes it extremely fancy um, and if you don't want to do that you could simply ch choose one uh, transition and then say hey apply this transition to all my slides so now if i go to my slideshow tab and choose from beginning then you'll know that that this has different transitions throughout another useful component within microsoft powerpoint is the animations tab the animations allow you to add even further enhancing uh, elements to the presentation for example you could choose to highlight a text box within microsoft powerpoint within a microsoft powerpoint slide and you could choose a type of animation from the animation group to apply to that piece of text and note that your animations will be numbered so this one suggests that this is first and this two happens right after the first animation within your timing group it is also important to note that it is starting on click so each animation here is starting on a click so i'd have to hit the mouse or the arrow keys on the keyboard for the presentations to happen or i could simply change that to with previous or after previous so my first animation here for example if i chose with previous it would actually be happening with the transition with the slide transition so as the slide is coming in so too is uh, this transition and if i chose uh, after previous it then means that this transition happens after the previous transitions all right so now if i view my slideshow and from beginning then note that i am not selecting anything for the transitions to play but i would need to select to get to my next slide and i can apply uh animations to each slide and photos accordingly this concludes our presentation on microsoft powerpoint we hope that you find it useful please feel free to let us know if you have any questions or concerns or any other types of presentations that you would actually like to see thank you